morning, Your Majesties. Good morning, Annie Plum. Princess Holly would like to show you how well she is doing with her magic. Yes, I would. That's lovely, sweetie. She will now cast a spell for you. It's not magic jelly, is it? No, no. Not magic jelly. You can choose. What would you like best in the whole wide world? Could you make me something pretty? OK. abracadabra tea bobba tea boo <laughs> ah! What is it? It seems to be a box of burps, Your Majesty. Oh, that's disgusting. Sorry, Daddy. I think it's about time Holly had some proper magic lessons. Very good, Your Majesty. I'll just fetch my wand. No, Nanny Plum. I mean proper lessons at a proper school. School? Yes. Holly is old enough to go to Mrs Fig's magic school. Ooh, Mrs Fig's magic school. I went there when I was little. It sounds fun. Can my friends come as well? Of course. Violet, Rosie, Strawberry and Fleur can go to magic school too. Can Ben come along? Oh, remember Ben is an elf and elves don't like magic. Ben will most likely be at elf school today. Good morning, children. Good morning, wise old elf. This morning's lesson is called Why Elves Don't Do Magic. Who can tell me why elves don't do magic? Because we're elves. <coughs> yes, Ben, but can anyone tell me why we don't do magic? Because we're elves. <coughs> Yes, yes, I know. But why don't we? Is it because magic always leads to trouble? Yes, Jake. Magic always leads to trouble. This way, girls. And talking of trouble... Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're going to magic school. Ooh, can we go to the magic school too, wise old elf? No, I forbid it. Oh, please, wise old elf. Please, please. Oh, very well. Today's lesson will be to see how magic <laughs> always leads to trouble. <laughs> this way to the magic school. Ah, magic school. I suppose it'll all be pink and fluffy and covered in glitter. That sounds nice. Here we are, Mrs Fig's magic school. Oh, what a sensible building. It could have been built by an elf. I know. It's a bit ugly, isn't it? It's very sensible. Now, girls and boys, you'll soon be meeting Mrs Fig. She taught me everything I know. Ooh. Mrs Fig liked me. I used to call her Old Figgy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, children. Morning, morning Old Figgy. Figgy. My name is Mrs Fig. Fig. Morning, Mrs. Fig. That's better. Hello, Figgy. Remember me? Ah, Nanny Plum. How could I forget? I told you I was her best pupil. In all my years of teaching, Nanny Plum, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. And I am the wise old elf. <laughs> Elves? At magic school? Yes. We're here to see the magic all go wrong. Nothing will go wrong at Mrs Fig's magic school. Now, who do we have here? I'm Princess Holly. Princess Holly, what do you and your little friends know about magic? Oh, I've taught them lots of things. Let's say you know nothing. What's the most important rule of magic? Don't do magic. Correct. What? But where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Oh, ho, ho. I like this lesson. Magic is only meant to be used for sensible things by sensible people. Now, pretend you are in the kitchen doing the washing up. Are you going to wash the dirty dishes using magic? Yes. Stop! That's just the sort of thing you can do by hand. What? That's just plain wrong. But if you come across a particularly stubborn stain on a saucepan, then perhaps you could... Use magic. Leave it to soak overnight. Why not just magic the whole lot clean and get on with something fun? I am the teacher, Nanny Plum. 
Sorry, Figgy. And now for the magic lesson. Hooray! First, we have to warm up. Let's start with a little jog. No, not the jogging. Outside, chop, chop. Run around, everyone. What does running have to do with magic? Nothing. It builds character. I don't need any more character, thank you. Are you all having fun? Yes! yes. Right, stop. Jogging is not meant to be fun. <sighs> Now, who would like to show me their favourite spell? Me! Anyone else? I can do a growing spell. Very good. Show us your growing spell, please. OK. Bappity boppity bow. Grow, grow, grow! Ah! Not me! Ah! She's just growing and growing. Stop it! Stop it! I know how to do growing. But not stopping. That's easy. Stop, Figgy, stop. And who taught you that growing spell? Me. I might have known. Well, it did work. You grew a lot. I know a spell to make things smaller. Wait, don't. Dibbly, dobbly, do. Small, small, small. Ah! Mrs Fig is still shrinking. Help! Help! She's getting teenier and teenier. She's never going to stop shrinking. Help! Help! Oh, I'd better grow her again. Figgy, figgy, fig. Back to big. How are you feeling? I am very, very, very angry. So, as you see, children, Magic always leads to trouble. They were two very silly spells. Can anyone think of a useful spell? Magic jelly! Magic jelly? Yes, that's very useful. Well, I suppose magic jelly has its uses. Like at a children's party. Or a picnic. Or as a yummy pudding. OK, magic jelly. But let's get someone sensible to wave the wand. Me, me, me! me. I'll do it! Who is the most sensible person here? The wise old elf. The wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, <laughs> It wouldn't be right. Nonsense! We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical! My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry. You won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say, Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. <gasps> oh! oh! It worked! Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha! I'd like to see you try. I say, this is fun. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Wise old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, 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 and lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Plum. It wasn't me. It was him. That's ridiculous. Elves don't do magic. Actually, Your Majesty, it was the wise old elf. Even old Figgy telling tales now. It's true. The wise old elf did it. Oh, dear. I believe I did do the spell. Fancy that. The wise old elf doing magic. <laughs> you have been naughty. Yes. And it just goes to show that magic always leads to trouble. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Dolly Plum, 
<laughs> elephant! Elephant! Big! <laughs> What are the twins up to? They sound like a herd of elephants. They're being very noisy. Ah, oh, good. They've gone quiet. Quiet isn't good. It means they're up to something. You better go up and see, Nanny. Yes, Your Majesty. Daisy, Poppy, Dolly. Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, what have you done? Turn me back at once. Hello, I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> Nan is taking a long time. Should we have a look? You know what the twins are like. Naughty. Very naughty. I'm Dolly Plum. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> I didn't know the twins had a Nanny Plum doll. Mm, they don't. I think that is Nanny Plum. That's right. It is me. Can you please turn me back? Poor Nanny. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Not all this noise again. Couldn't you be a dolly for a while just to keep them quiet? No way. I have a lot of work to get on with. There's the washing and the iron. Ah! Dolly Plum, Dolly Plum. <laughs> ah, peace and quiet. Carry on, Nanny. Now what am I going to do? I won't get any work done if I stay like this. Don't worry, Nanny. I can turn you back. Oh, thanks, Holly. <laughs> now the twins are crying again. I know. The elves could make a Nanny Plum doll. Elves are good at making things and I'm an elf. <laughs> Good idea, Ben. Wise old elf, can you make a Nanny Plum doll? It's for the twins. <laughs> well, now, what does this doll look like? Dolly Plum. Ah! Uh, it looks like that. Oh, I see. Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly Plum. Feed me, please. <laughs> yes, I think we can make a copy of this. Come along, please. If I press your tummy, will you sing a song? Don't you even think of pressing my tummy. Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. So, how are you going to copy me? We'll use this copying machine. This is how it works. If we take this tennis ball and put it right here... <laughs> an exact copy. Ooh. Now for Dolly Plum. Um, actually, I've changed my mind. Can you put me down, please? I don't think I want to do this today. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny. You just have. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it does a bit, Nanny. Dolly Plum. It's a perfect copy. Yes, and now that we've copied Nanny, we can make as many as we want. Hold on. Let's stick to one, just to keep the twins happy. I quite agree. One Nanny Plum is quite enough. Fine. Now, will someone please magic me back again? OK, Nanny. Oh, that's better. Now I can get on with my work. My, my dolly. dolly! My Dolly! My dolly! dolly. Wow. <laughs> oh, dear. They want a Dolly each. Wow. But we promised Nanny Plum we'd only make one. One more wouldn't <laughs> hurt. Just to keep the twins happy. <laughs> My dolly. My dolly. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Ooh, look. It's a Nanny Plum doll. I'm Dolly Plum. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get her? She's really funny. Can I have one? Me too. Me too. Oh, we're only supposed to make one, and I've already made two. Please. <laughs> well, I suppose it's all right to make a few more. Thank 
Thank you. Hello, I'm yes, Lonnie your Majesty. Majesty. Hello, Hello, Your Majesty. Um, it's so sweet. Oh, oh, what's this? Whatever. These are rather good. Are we making them? They're just a one-off. Uh, of ten. But they seem to be rather popular. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm I'm your your Majesty. Majesty. Indeed. Perhaps we should make more. <laughs> da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum. Careful with that, Daisy. It's the only dolly of its kind in the world. Dolly Plum. My Dolly Plum. Oh, it seems that there are two of them. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to have a word with that wise old elf. <laughs> ah, Nanny Plum. Don't you Nanny Plum me? I said make only one dolly, and you've made two. Uh, yes. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Yes, well, don't let it happen again. Uh, right -o. <gasps> He's made loads of them. He's lots of fun. <gasps> this is outrageous. Right. Wise old elf? Wise old elf? Where are you? <laughs> Just how many of these things have you made? <gasps> There's hundreds! Uh, thousands, actually. I don't believe it! But they are very popular. Let me show you one in its gift box. Gift box? Ooh, Dolly, Dolly Plum! Daisy, Poppy, don't you even think about... Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy! Here we are. Oh, where's Nanny gone? Daisy, Poppy, turn me back at once. Hello. Have you fallen off the production line? No, no, it's me. I'm not a toy. I'm Nanny Plum. Ah, Nanny Elf. Wise old elf, have you seen Nanny? She was here, but she seems to have vanished. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, did you magic Nanny into a dolly again? Dolly, dolly. Oh, no. Nanny must be in one of these boxes. Ah. But there are thousands of them. How are we going to find her? We'll have to open up every one. Oh, we'd better get started. Hug me, please. Hmm, too nice. You're my best friend. Too friendly. Oh, I thought I'd be stuck there forever. Thank you, wise old elf. Too polite. Wait! I really am the real Nanny Plum. No, no. You're a dolly. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You're just a very clever doll. I know. I made you. OK, smarty pants. If I'm just a doll, I wouldn't be able to do magic, would I? Of course not. Dollies can't do magic. Holly, one, please. I'm going to turn you into a slug. Ha! Ah. Just you try. <laughs> OK. You are Nanny Plum. <laughs> Oof, that's better. Uh, Nanny, can you turn me back too, please? OK. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> you promised you'd only make one doll, and you've made thousands. But, Nanny, it's an honour to have a toy that looks like you. Oh, is it? Well, let's see how you like it. I'm a grumpy old elf. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing, if you're quite finished. Nearly. I'm, I'm a grumpy old elf. I'm, I'm a grumpy old elf. I'm a grumpy old elf. elf. I'm I'm grumpy old elf. Now I'm finished. Oh, dear. How undignified. What are we going to do with all these? Well, Daisy and Poppy like them. Look. Elfie, Elfie. <laughs> you know, I think fairies are rather last year. This year, elf dollies will be the thing. I'm old and wise with twinkly eyes. Hmm, you are a handsome little fellow. I can see why the children like you. And you've got lots of them now. Yes, thousands. Hooray! Elves like tooting their horns. And we're elves. Oh, no! Cover your ears. <laughs> Oh, 
Joe, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? Huh? Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <coughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <coughs> oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. <coughs> I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. <laughs> and Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <laughs> <laughs> and these are their children. Amber, Emerald and Keith. Ah, <laughs> oh, look. They are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. <laughs> They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> they love their uncle Gaston. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> but he ate the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! <laughs> oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber. <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Her sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <coughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. <coughs> there you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. <sighs> They're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. <coughs> but looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Ah, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. <sighs> <sighs> Tired today, eh, Gaston? 
At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> ah! Goodness me, baby ladybirds. Yes, Amber, <laughs> Emerald and Keith. Well, well. So Gaston is a girl ladybird after all. <laughs> no, Gaston's a boy ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. How adorable. Little puppy ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yay! I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone! Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds, baby birds. Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies. They're baby ladybirds. Baby birds. <laughs> 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 ruff, 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 ruff. Here they are. Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three. Hmm, there seem to be four now. And one of them's wearing a crown. Oh, no! That's Mummy. They've turned her into a baby ladybird. Baby bird, baby bird. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof! Thank you, darling. <laughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. Rock-a-bye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh, dear. This one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big, bad wolf came along to the straw house. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean, ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it! What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. <coughs> oh. 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 What is it, Gaston? <coughs> He's heard something. Oh. 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 Gaston, they found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. How come they've got so much energy again? Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes, my little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh. <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. <laughs> now, 
As you can see, Ben, the cabbages are ready to eat. Yes, Dad. Fascinating things, cabbages. Yes, Dad. Today we'll be harvesting them. Then we can have cabbage soup every night. Yes, Dad. We can have cabbage soup Monday, cabbage soup Tuesday, cabbage soup Wednesday, cabbage soup. Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. We're off to Miss Jolly's snail riding club. Yeah, snails, horrible things. No, they're adorable. There's Dobbin. <laughs> and Robin Hood. He's the cheeky one. <laughs> I want to ride Cupcake. He's lovely. They're all lovely. <laughs> snails are not lovely. They eat up my cabbages. But they're so fun to ride. Would you boys like to come along? Riding club sounds a bit girly to me. It's not girly. The snails can go pretty fast. I suppose we could try it. Yes, cowboys ride, don't they? We could wear our cowboy hats. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just keep those snails away from my cabbages. <laughs> Jolly's Riding Club. But where's Miss Jolly? No trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Hello, everyone! Morning, Miss Jolly! Are you ready for a good day's riding? Yes, Miss Jolly! Spiffing! I see we have some cowboys here today. Yee-haw! <laughs> One thing to remember, snails don't like loud noises. They're quite shy. Yes, Miss Jolly. Don't worry, Trigger. The cowboy is your friend. <laughs> Jolly good. Let's go and meet your snails. Here are Dobbin, Muffin, Cupcake. They're so adorable. Toffee, Bobby, Speedy, Robin Hood and Samson. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? Samson doesn't seem to have a shell. That's because he's a slug. Ugh. A slug. Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick, that's why. Woohoo! Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. Will Broom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. <laughs> Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Lappin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. So hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> now, time for the riding. Everybody choose a snail. Oh, 
Can I ride Bobby, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm on a snail. I'll ride Robin Hood. <laughs> I'll ride Muffin. Toffee. Cupcake. I'll ride Speedy. Ah, oh, the thing is, Speedy hasn't been broken in yet. What do you mean? I mean, no one has ever ridden him. He's too frisky. <laughs> yes, he's a young one, full of beans, you know. Can I be the first to ride Speedy today? You can have a go, but you need to get on his back and he'll try and throw you off. Sounds like a job for an elf cowboy. I like your spirit, Cowboy Ben. Boy! Young Jake, what's it to be? Dobbin or Samson? Um, maybe Dobbin. It's strange, isn't it, Samson? No one ever seems to want to ride you. <laughs> Never mind. You stay here and have a rest. Off we go, then. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? How do we tell our snails to move? Tell them to trot on. Trot! On. On. <laughs> Let's go snail riding. <laughs> Wonderful day for a snail ride. What? Where are we going? Just around the meadow. Uh, Miss Jolly, Samson the slug is following us. Oh, I see. Keep going. I'll catch you up in a minute. Now then, you naughty slug. You're not meant to be on the ride. Back to the stables with you. <laughs> Keep up, everyone. Hmm, which way now? Miss Jolly said just round the meadow. Hmm, this way then. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's happening? Well, I suppose he knows where he's going. All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert! Snail alert! <laughs> the cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables. Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good. They're eating faster than we can carry. Snails, stop! Oh, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! Thank you, Miss Jolly. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. It was my pleasure. Mind you, if they're going to eat at your place again, they really like lettuce the best. Grow a bit of that next time. All right. <laughs> People think snails are a pest, but they're adorable, really. Yes, they're so lovely and cute and cuddly. 
pirate. You're not. I'm the best pirate. I am so. Listen. I'm the best pirate. Ask any pirate. Who's the best pirate? It's me. Hi, Redbeard. Hello, Ben and Holly. And hello, me rambling rose. Meet an old shipmate of mine, Captain Squid. At your service. We were just talking about who's the best pirate. What makes the best pirate? It's the pirate who's cleverest at hiding their treasure. My treasure's hidden the cleverest. This is me treasure map, but only I can read and understand it. <laughs> A child could read it. Is it buried next to the elf tree? Uh, yes. My treasure map is better than that. Ooh, that does look difficult. The treasure's deep underwater, yet in plain sight. Guarded by a mermaid and a golden sea monster with scales shining bright. Ooh. Well, best be off. I've got some pirate stuff to get on with. Ha-ha! <laughs> Good to see you, Captain Squid. And you too, Captain Redbeard. Oh, look. Captain Squid forgot his map. Run after him and give it back. No, it's too late. He's gone. We can still catch him. Captain Squid, wait. Give the map to me. I'll fly after him. Let's not be too hasty. Tell you what, I'll keep his map safe until he gets back. Are you going to hunt for Captain Squid's treasure? Oh, no. That would be against Pirate's Honour. What's Pirate's Honour? A pirate must never go looking for another pirate's treasure. Anyway, the map's too complicated for Redbeard. What? I could follow this map in my sleep. I'll prove it. But what about Pirate's Honour? Yes, the thing is, pirates don't really have much honour. They're pirates, after all. And anyway, I only uh, want to check that Captain Squid's treasure is hidden safely, and that. Can we come too? Well, I can always use more crew. Yay! Cast off, and away we go! <laughs> Ben, Holly, into the crow's nest and keep a sharp lookout. We're going on a treasure hunt. Yeah, ho, ho. Aha! Are we having fun? Aye, aye, aye Captain. Good. Having fun is what being an elf pirate is all about. And we're elf pirates. <laughs> The map says we pass a tree with a huge wheel. That's silly. Trees don't have wheels. Redbeard, is that it? Yes, Holly, it must be. That's the old tyre that the big children swing on. Ooh, big children? That sounds a bit dangerous. I'm not afraid of danger. Pirates laugh in the face of danger. Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha. Land ahoy! That's the end of the water. The next bit's on land. You mean we have to get out and walk? Fear not, me pretty nightingale. Your ship has wheels. It can go on the land. Well, most treasure you'll find is on the land. There's not that much in the sea but water. Look, we're in the big children's playground. Now we look out for the giant's palace. There it be! But that's Lucy's school. Who's Lucy? Lucy's our friend. She's a big girl. Are you sure the treasure would be at a children's school? This here map says the treasure's inside. How can we get in? The door shut and the handle's miles up. And you elves won't want to use magic. That's right. Us elves don't normally like magic, but when there's treasure involved... Rightio! Abracadabra! Ooh. I thought you were just going to make the door open, but a flying boat is much better. It's quiet. No sign of any big people. But all the big children will be here soon. Let's get a move on. The treasure is found by the sign of the acorn. Acorn class. That's Lucy's class. This is ridiculous. How can pirate treasure be in a children's classroom? What does the map say now? Map? I don't need no map. When treasure's this close, I can smell it. We 
pirates have a nose for treasure. Come on! Now, we're all going to walk the plank. Starting with me! Whee! Silly. How can the treasure be here? It's supposed to be deep underwater for one thing. There be the water! But that's a fish tank! Remember what Captain Squid said? The treasure is guarded by a mermaid. That's a little statue! And a golden sea monster! That's just a goldfish! And there be Captain Squid's treasure, hidden in plain sight. It's a plastic toy. All fish tanks have that sort of thing. Huh. It's not real treasure. There's only one way to find out. We'll have to dive for it. Who's going diving? Good luck, me plucky little pumpkin. Oof. <laughs> What am I doing? Deep sea diving in a goldfish bowl. Look for the treasure chest. Oh, it's just a plastic toy. I don't even think it opens. Ooh. It's real treasure. <laughs> Captain Squid said I'd never find his treasure. I'd like to see his face now. Redbeard, fancy meeting you here. Oh. Hello, Captain Squid. When I set sail, I found my treasure map was missing. Was it really? So I came back. I was worried some rascal might try and steal my treasure. Yes, yes, that would be very bad if someone tried to steal your treasure. I've got the treasure, Mr Redbeard. Why, you double-crossing old sea dog. Uh, I can explain. Treachery with a smile on its face. It's all right, Captain Squid. I found your map on the ground. Redbeard was worried about your treasure, so we came to make sure it was safe. Yes, uh, that's right. Just check it over, like. Oh, well, that's, that's different. But you must admit, it was a good hiding place, wasn't it? Aye, very good. A children's fish tank. Best hiding place ever. Oh, but now you all know where it is. I better hide it again. If you could all close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. Where have you hidden the treasure? Somewhere in the world. Well, it can't be that far away. You were only gone for a second. No one will ever, ever find it. It's guarded by a ferocious beast. Ooh! <laughs> School starting! <laughs> All right, Acorn class, yes. settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. <laughs> oh, look what I found. It's the toy pirate chest from the fish tank. How on earth did it get in Fluffy's cage? Maybe a pirate put it there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put it back, shall we? Guarded by a ferocious beast indeed. Fluffy the hamster! <laughs> There. Back where it belongs. Never mind, Captain Squid. I think that's the best hiding place for it anyway. But you all know where it is now. We won't tell anyone. You swear? Yes, on pirates' honour. But, Redbeard, you said pirates don't really have any honour and... Yes, yes. Thank you, Holly. We'll talk about this more later. But for now, put your hands on your hearts and say pirates' honour. Pirates, Pirates honour. All aboard! Let's be off before we're spotted. A flying ship. Yes, all the best pirates have one these days. Now, let's start the class. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cookie, look! A flying pirate ship! It's, it's behind, behind you! Ha ha, yes, children. Now settle down, please. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. What are you doing here? Tell you later. Set sail for home! Little Kingdom, here we come. Ha -ha! I think we got away with that. Aye, it were a great adventure. And that's what being elf pirates is all about. Having adventures. Today's adventure starts at Mrs Witch's house. 
the witch competition. Thank you for helping tidy my house, Nanny Plum. No problem, Mrs Witch. My goodness, what a lot of cobwebs. Let's magic them away. Oh, me. I don't know what I'd do without you, Nanny. But, Mrs Witch, why can't you just use your own magic to tidy your house? The thing is, I don't do much magic these days. I'm retired. Meow. Still got your mangy old cat, I see. Don't be rude about Moggy. I say cat, but it's just a bag of fleas, really. Leave him alone. I'm warning you. And he's smelly. <laughs> <gasps> Mrs Witch, you've turned Nanny to stone, so you can do magic. Only if I'm cross. Nanny was being very rude about my cat. Can you turn Nanny back? If she says sorry. Sorry. And say mm. sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <laughs> Oof. I forgot she's so touchy about her cat. Hello, are you Mrs Witch? That's me. I'm Wendy Witch. Hello, Wendy Witch. I'm so excited to be standing here with you. You're famous. Am I? I was brought up on stories of you doing the fastest spells in the West. That was all a long time ago. I'm retired now. And what a lovely witchy house. I can't believe I'll be living here. Uh. What was that? I'll be living in your house. But there's only room in this house for one witch. Yes. Now you're retired, you'll be going to the old witch's home. You'll be very happy there. It's full of other old witches watching telly all day. Uh, you know, when I said I was retired, I meant I'm not retired. Goodbye. <laughs> that was close. Um, sorry to bother you again, but since there's only room for one witch around here, we'll have a witch competition. The winner stays, the loser goes. Oh, yes, of course. A witch competition needs a judge. Someone important. Uh, my daddy is a king. Is that important enough? A king will do nicely. Let's go and meet this daddy of yours. Hello, Your Majesty. Ah! I'm Wendy Witch. Oh, hello, Wendy Witch. We're having a witch competition and we need someone important and wise to be the judge. That'll be me. I'm very important and wise. If Mrs Witch loses, she'll have to leave her house. Daddy, you have to make sure Mrs Witch wins. I'm sorry, Holly, but I'm the judge and I have to be fair and above board. I suppose there's a first time for everything. When does the competition start? At high noon. I haven't got a chance against Wendy Witch. I haven't been in a witch competition for years. What happens in a witch competition? There's a spell contest, broomstick riding and jam making. Well, your jam smells quite nice. See, I've lost my touch. Which jam is supposed to be horrible? Don't worry, we'll help you make it horrible. <laughs> what if you put in some snail slime? Snail slime? Yes, that could do it. And some worm poo? Yes, that would make it taste awful. You see, you can win. Now let's tackle the broomstick riding. I haven't ridden my broom in years. It's forgotten all its training. <laughs> yeah, boy. Good broom. Oh, come here, you silly old stick. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's try spells. Mrs Witch, you did the fastest spells in the West. Right, Mrs Witch. Turn these cans into frogs. <laughs> I'm trying. But I can't do it. I'm afraid she's past it. Past it? She can't even turn a can into a frog. She might have been good at magic once, but now she's a bit of a has-been. Has-been? I'll show you. <gasps> <gasps> Mrs Witch, you turned Nanny into a frog. That's because Nanny got me annoyed. <laughs> Oof. 
you can do magic like that in the competition, you'll be fine. So just remember to get cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so friendly and nice. It's your only chance to win. OK, I'll try to be cross. It's high noon. Let the witch competition begin. First, jam making. Why are they all staring at me? You're the judge, darling. They're waiting for you to taste the witch's jam. Oh, what's in it? Slug, mostly, with a hint of bat and spider eggs for crunch. Ew! That's the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted. Thank you. No, my jam, Your Majesty. Yes. Um, why should I have all the fun? Isn't it someone else's go? Daddy, you're the judge, so you must taste both jams. Of course I must. Lucky me. Oh, they both taste equally revolting. So, the jam making is a draw. Hooray! And now, broomstick flying. Yeehaw! That was really good. Ooh. Now it's Mrs. Witch's turn. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Right, she's held on. Yeehaw! She's riding the broom. The broomstick riding a draw. Now for the spell contest. Mrs. Witch, where are you going? To the old witch's home. I can't win a spell contest. Yes, you can. You turned Nanny to stone. And you turned her into a frog. Well, Nanny Plum makes me so cross. Just remember to be cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so polite and charming. She wants to put you in the old witch's home. And live in your house. You're right. Remember I'm cross. Remember I'm cross. Let the, Let spells, the spells begin. begin. The, witch the witch that turns, that turns the, the other, other to, to stone, stone is the is winner. The winner. <laughs> Remember I'm cross. Remember, I'm cross. Mrs. Witch, it's been such a thrill to be in a competition with you. Remember, I'm... Oh, thank you, dear. You're so nice. <gasps> She's turned Mrs. Witch to stone. That's it. I've won. I'll be the Little Kingdom's witch. I'll really enjoy working with you, King Thistle. Uh, working with me? Oh, yes. I've got big plans for the Little Kingdom. Oh, dear. She sounds like a bit of a bossy boots. Meow. And Mrs Witch's mangy old cat will have to go. Did you see Mrs Witch move? She can't move. She's been turned to stone. He really is a flea-bitten old thing. Oh. He smells awful. Wow, Mrs. Witch turned the other witch to stone. So, I suppose Mrs. Witch is the winner. Yay! We knew you could do it. Uh, shouldn't you turn Wendy Witch back now? She was very rude about my Moggy. But if she says sorry... Sorry. And sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <sighs> Thanks. You're just amazing, Mrs Witch. I've never seen anyone break out of a stone spell before. And you're a very polite and clever young witch, mostly. Well, as they say, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. So I'll be moving along. Bye! I'm glad Mrs Witch won. The Little Kingdom wouldn't be the same without Mrs Witch. Yes. Mind you, Wendy Witch did have a point about the cat. It does rather smell and it's... What was that? It, uh, is a most lovely pussycat. Thank you, King Thistle. I do love my Moggy. Meow. 
Hello, everybody. May I present my new boat, Bunty 2. Bunty 2? Yes. You remember my old boat, Bunty? Bunty was a lovely boat. Yes, Bunty was a lovely boat. Until she met Big Bad Barry. You all know what happened then. Barry ate Bunty. Yes, Barry has eaten every boat I've ever made. But now I've built Bunty 2. My best boat ever. Six bedrooms, three bathrooms, a kitchen, a sun lounge. The ideal boat for a cruise to a tropical paradise. A cruise to a tropical paradise? How wonderful! And Bunty 2 doesn't run on clockwork. She runs on batteries. So she's super fast. going to stop Big Bad Barry eating this boat. Aha! I have a brilliant plan. What's the plan? Bunty 2 is never going in the water. Never going in the water? Yes. Barry is not going to eat Bunty 2. This is ridiculous. Why did you build a boat that you're not going to put in the water? Just for something to do. So we're not sailing to the tropical paradise? Nope. Oh, Dad! I thought we were all going on holiday. I've got a good idea. As your king, I command you to put Bunty 2 in the water and sail us to the tropical paradise. But what about Big Bad Barry? Don't worry. If Barry eats Bunty 2, I'll take full responsibility. What does that mean? You can blame it on me. The king is so wise. But, but... Good. That's sorted, then. We're going on holiday. OK, but if we're going to do it, I'm in charge. And that means... Oh, this is an elf holiday, so no magic. <coughs> Yay! A holiday! Next stop, the ocean! Yes, but first we have to get past Barry. You worry too much, Mr Elf. Maybe Barry won't turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Yum. Ah! What do we do? What do we do? There's just one chance. Bunty 2 is super fast. It's working, Mr. Elf. We're faster than Barry. We've left Barry really far behind. Good. He's given up. Hooray! Right, everybody. Let's sail to the tropics and swim among the corals. We're going on holiday, we're going on holiday. We're going on holiday to a tropical paradise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr Elf, it's lovely to see you so relaxed. Yes, with Barry far away, I'm actually enjoying this holiday. We're here, in the tropical ocean. Let's go diving. Cool. <laughs> Mrs Elf, are you coming diving? Um, no thanks. I need to catch up on some important reading. Right all. See you later. Chapter One. I was just a young servant girl, and Squire Trevelyan, with his dark, broody looks and mane of black hair, was being very grumpy. I didn't like him at all. This is the coral reef. Amazing! Yes, it's all so pretty. Do you think we'll bump into anyone else down here? In the middle of a vast ocean? We're not going to bump into anyone. Ah, watch where you're going. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry. I didn't see you there. Well, I am here, and I'm not pleased to be bumped into. Not pleased at all. It's Captain Squid, the pirate. Yes, it is I, Captain Squid, and I'm here burying the treasure. Burying your treasure? At the bottom of the ocean? The thing is, every place I bury my treasure, it gets found. So I thought, if I bury it at the bottom of the ocean, where no people ever visit, maybe, just maybe, my treasure might stay hidden. It's not too much to ask, is it? Well, we're very sorry to disturb you. We'll be on our way. Yes, be off with you. Get your own ocean to swim in. 
Uh, hang on a moment. There is uh, something you could help me with. What's that? It's a bit embarrassing, but uh, I haven't got a boat to sail home in. Can I have a lift? What happened to your boat? It got eaten by a big fish. Barry! Barry's here! The fish that ate my boat had big eyes. That's Barry. And a big mouth. That's Barry! And eight legs. That's not Barry. A fish with eight legs? Yes, it's a giant octopus and it's swimming towards your boat. Ah, I have to warn Mrs Elf. And then Squire Trevelyan said, Here is the great secret I must tell you. The person I truly love is... Yes, this had better be important. Yes, uh, don't panic, but there is something swimming towards you. Oh, yes, what sort of a something? Uh, a sort of hungry giant octopus with eight legs something. Oh, yes, I see it. What should I do? Would you mind telling it not to eat my boat? Now, listen here, Mr Octopus. This boat is not for eating. What's happening? The octopus seems to be eating your boat. Quick, to the surface! Naughty octopus! Stop eating! Stop at once, I say! <laughs> ah, my boat! Eaten! I said this would happen! No, you said your boat would be eaten by Big Bad Barry, but it was eaten by a giant octopus. It's a disaster! Don't worry. I said I'd take responsibility, and I will. And? That's it. I've taken responsibility. Fine. Well, I hate to ask, but Nanny Plum, can you magic a boat up so we can go home? No. Why not? Because you said blah, 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 no magic, and you took my wand away, remember? Oh, yes. So I did. So, we're stranded here. No, I've just had a brilliant Mr Elf idea. I'll build a raft out of the wreckage. And we'll help you. Yes, Dad. We'll lash the pieces together with rope. There, finished. May I present Bunty 3? What's Bunty 3? This boat. Bunty 2 was prettier. It's not meant to be pretty. It's a raft. I know what a raft is. Where's the bathroom? Is it downstairs? Ah, there isn't a downstairs. Don't be too harsh on Nanny. She doesn't know as much about rafts as us sailors. By the way, where's the kitchen? Is that downstairs too? Yes, it's probably next to the sitting room. This is a raft. There aren't sitting rooms and kitchens and bathrooms. It's not very luxurious then, is it? No, it's not. But it will get us home. And so, Squire Trevelyan turned out to be nice after all. And I married him. The end. My Goodness! That was a surprise ending. Land ahoy! We're home! Yes, but that means we're near to Big Bad Barry. Stop worrying, Mr Elf. Barry might not turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Oh, he's been waiting for us all this time. How sweet. He's going to eat Bunty 3. Yum, yum. Ah! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Don't worry, everyone. Whatever happens, I will take full responsibility. That makes everything all right, then. My boat is gone. Gone into Barry's tummy. Curse you, Big Bad Barry. You'll never eat another boat of mine. Never. Never. Because I'm not going to build a boat ever again. I think you've upset Barry, Mr Elf. Look at his sad little face. <laughs> he is crying. I've never seen a fish cry. You shouldn't be so unkind to Barry. What? Yes, Barry doesn't mean any harm. Doesn't mean any harm? Mr Elf, as your king, I command you to build another boat for Barry. Aye? What sort of boat would you like, Barry? A sailing boat? Yum, yum. A sailing boat for Barry, please, Mr Elf. King Thistle is so wise. Yes, we are very lucky. <laughs>